here is we've got the three ingredients that make up the soil um, activator preparation. We've got cow manure concentrate, which is, is essentially cow manure that's been put in a cement mixer for an hour with some eggshell and basalt dust. We then put that in a pit in the ground after it's stirred for an hour and we add the biodynamic compost preparations to it. We leave it for about three or four months and then it turns from a, a, a sloppy green manure sort of consistency to a beautiful, dark, rich, colloidal, yummy soil preparation. And that's called cow manure concentrate. Really simple to make. We made that here using our manure, our eggshells, our basalt, and it's beautiful. The other ingredient, the one that people may be most familiar with is the Horn Manure 500. And that's made by putting lactating cow manure into a cow horn and putting that in the ground over winter, uh, four to six months, and then taking that out in spring. And that is liquid, not liquid, it's, it's beautiful black brown gold. And this is the signature biodynamic soil preparation. And that is again, one of the other ingredients to our soil activator. And look at that beautiful colloidal, not a smell, really earthy, but there's nothing, no sort of um, volatile organic smells coming out of that at all. It's absolutely beautiful. And then the third one is uh, winter horn clay. Now we make that by putting that in the ground in a cow horn over the winter as well. And essentially it's just clay. Clay you can get from your paddock, you can buy clay, make it into a paste, stuff the horn in the ground over winter, pull it out in spring, and that's a beautiful, that's a balancing agent. Um, so what these three ingredients all make up the soil activator. The cow manure concentrate in a hectare, you'd use about 200, 150 to 200 grams. 500, you use about 50 grams a hectare. And the, uh, the winter horn clay, you use about 10 grams a hectare. So in total, if you've mixed this together in the right proportions, uh, or you buy a soil activator, you use about 250 grams of the soil activator per hectare. And it's that simple. So we've got our little shake cloth bag that we've made, just out of a bit of shake cloth, a bit of twine, it's like a big tea bag. And the idea of putting our preparations in that bag is that we don't, when we put it into the tub, we don't get all that grit and that um, uh, the actual substance of that going through our submersible pump. It's just kind of keeps the liquid clean and when we transfer it into there, it makes the whole process much easier. So we've got our, our amount, amount of um, cow manure concentrate in there. We've got about 700 litres in this tub and that's about the right amount for 700 litres. What we're going to do is we're going to spray this out at 30 litres per hectare, okay? So we pop that in our tea bag. So we've got our 500 there. Again, uh, there's enough in there to do about 700 litres. So we'll pop that in there as well. Into our big tea bag. Beautiful, look at that. Perfect. Pop that all in there. And then this is our winter horn clay. Now I haven't got any scales here, but I'm gonna make some uh, assumptions. That, maybe that, is about 10 grams times about, oh, I don't know, 15. Actually, I'll throw all that in there as well. And that'll do, and we crumble that into there. Just so it breaks down, that will dissolve into nothing in a minute. Beautiful. So there we have it. That's our soil activator in a tea bag. All we do is we tie that up. And whatever you can find. What we're gonna do now is turn our flow form on. So this is a flow form. Um, it's a Vortex 3 Mark IV flow form. It's got these three tubs and what essentially we're gonna do is activate this water for an hour. We're going to create little vortices through here as the water is pumped up through these three tubs and that's going to stir for an hour. It's oxygenating it 
it's activating it and it's uh, going to help dilute the substance in here and dissolve it in that water. And we do, I'm going to do that for now. So I'll go and turn it on. I'm just going to dissolve that here, making sure we get as much of that dissolved through here into our tub. Let that sit there and just swish through that, like a tea bag. I'm just going to take the, um, the the pipe off that end, which is coming out of the submersible, and it's been pumping through the flow form. I'm going to take that out and use the same submersible pump, which is here, the basic submersible. I'm going to use that to pump into our ute just there. So what's really important also is that we actually filter the liquid before it goes in our tank, because we want to remove as much of that those particles as we can. And this is a big sock. It's a big filter sock. Um, I can't remember what gauge it is, but it's really fine. And it's gonna save us a lot of dramas when we're actually going to spray. So pop that in there, like so. Put our pipe in there. So we're in the paddock, we're going to spray. We've got our fire unit, our tank full of water, and our spray nozzle. It's really simple. It's about five or six holes in this brass cap. Um, and we've got also what's important is an inline filter. We've got one right here. And basically, it's just going to separate any particles that might still be in the liquid. So that's pretty important, I think. So we're going to start this up. We're going to be spraying at about 30 litres a hectare. So by the calculations we've done for this particular unit, that spray is about 15 metres wide when it's going. Uh, I'm going to drive at about 20 kilometres an hour, and that roughly puts it out at about 